Hello and welcome to the news update on Unilag Television. I'm Emmanuel Okere. President Bola Tinubu just approved the appointment of 11 CEOs to lead the charge in the Federal Ministry of Arts, Culture and Creative Economy. And hold on to your hats because our very own Dr. Shaibu Husseini is straight out of the Mass Communication Department at the University of Lagos is now the Director General of the National Films and Census Board. We at Unilag TV say congratulations and wish him all the best in his new office. And moving on to our community news, the University of Lagos went all out at the Tolu Odugbemi Hall for the Long Service Award Ceremony. They basically rolled out the red carpet to acknowledge and appreciate <laughs> academic and non-teaching staff members who have provided dedicated service to the institution for a whopping 35 years or more. Now picture this. Awards flying left and right, some <laughs> by the talented students from Unilac's Creative Arts Department, spearheaded by the one and only Dr. Shei Kenge. Professor Rotimi Koka dropped some wisdom with a short talk titled Age is Just a Number. He emphasized how crucial it is to stay active engaged and purposeful, especially in the later stages of life. Our Vice Chancellor, Professor Folashadi Ogunshola, got in on the action too, calling the whole event an emotional reminder for of the lasting impact of dedicated service within the academic community. Now that's a celebration worth talking about. If you are a fresher here at the University of Lagos, listen up because the University of Lagos Orientation and Matriculation Program and Fair started yesterday, Monday the 29th of January 2024. Here's the deal. If you are a fresh face, whether you came in through UTME or direct entry, the matriculation ceremony will commence at 9 a.m. on February 2nd, 2024 at the Jalili Adebisi Omotola Hall, Unilag, Akoka. It's not just a party for the newbies, the entire university community and everyone else in town is invited. So, consider this your official welcome to the University of Lagos. Get ready for an epic ride. In a somber turn of event, Abia State University's Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Godwin Emezie, faced a harrowing Friday night when three hoodlums abducted him at a petrol station in Umwahia South local government area of Abia State. Chidioke Umwogu, the university spokesperson, revealed that the news of the abduction reached the Abia State Police via social media in an official statement. Maureen Chinaka, the police spokesperson, confirmed the incident occurred around 9.30 p.m. on Friday. The police are now going full throttle mobilizing resources, employing intelligence, and leveraging technology to crack the case and ensure Professor Emezwe's safe return. In reaching out to the resident of Abia State, the police delivered a message urging calm, encouraging vigilance, and requesting cooperation. They appealed for everyone to share any pertinent information that could assist in resolving this distressing situation. If you are all about civic engagement, media literacy, women in politics, STEM education, creative industries, entrepreneurship, and youth development, then you've got to hear this. The United States just launched an American corner in Lekki, Lagos State. Now, what in the world is an American corner? You wonder. It's like hitting the jackpot for all things American, culture, history, current event, and the inside scoop on the government. And get this, it's not just a random move. It's part of the 20th anniversary fiesta of American Corners, uh, a global network spreading across 600-plus cultural and information centers in over 140 countries. According to the U.S. government's official website, the American Corner Lecky is like a sneak peek into the future of the American Spaces Network. 
it's not just about soaking in U.S. culture. It's your one-stop shop for English language learning, internet services, tips on studying the United States, and a ton of skill building, professional development programs, and training. Now, here's the scoop on Nigeria's existing network of American spaces. They've got two American centers in Abuja and Lagos, plus 10 American corners scattered in universities, libraries, and community centers all over the country. And now to entertainment, Ira's staff found herself right in the middle of some drama after a video made the round online, making it seem like she disrespected the legendary king Sonny Ade at the AfroZone's pre-Grammy party on Friday night. And guess what? Sonny Ade was primed to get a legacy award from uh, Bose Agulu, Bonner Boy's mom, at the party. The clip caught Ira Star sort of breezing past Bose Ogulu and just to spice things up, she went straight to Sonia Day's seat, giving everyone around a friendly handshake. Social media didn't hold back as folks were tagging her as uncultured and disrespectful. But here's the twist. Ira Star hopped on social media to set the record straight and apologize for the whole drama. She claimed that she was super nervous when she got to the event and believed it or not, she actually greeted Bonner Boy's mom before the infamous video started rolling. And of course, she made sure to drop a sincere sorry to Sonny Ade, calling him a legend and uncle. And that's a wrap on the bulletin. Thanks for tuning in to the Unilag uh, TV update. Uh, don't forget to swing by our social media pages for more juicy updates. Catch us at Unilag on TV. Big thanks for being part of the audience. Until next time, stay tuned. I am Emmanuel Okeri.